What's going on guys? The screen. What's going on guys? Brandon Harden here. Hope you're having a great day. It's currently the 8th of July. It's a Saturday and we're going to be recording a full day of eating. And today is actually a pretty monumental day because it's been five years since I started training when I was 15 years old because I started when I left school, which was around this time. So this month I've been training five years, which is pretty crazy. But like I said, guys, today I'm going to be recording a full day of eating. And I feel like over the past five years, I've kind of realized how my body reacts to certain foods. So I feel like I have the ability to conjure up a decent diet on how to make lean gains over the next year of off season so today's going to be the day where i show you guys what i'm going to be consuming to basically make gains while still maintaining a lean body mass over the next year now personally i'm not a huge fan of looking really fat and bulky on an off season so even though a dirty bulk would be an easier approach on an off season to gain muscle personally i don't think it's the best way to go about it now the reason i think a dirty bulk is not that beneficial to gain muscle on an off season because i know a lot of people do like to just eat whatever they want just to gain as much muscle as they possibly can on an off season the reason I think it's not that beneficial is because one, you get to avoid looking like a cloud on your off-season and two, the unnecessary fat that you'll gain on a dirty, bulked off-season as soon as you start cutting down for whatever reason, lose fat for summer, go for a competition. It's going to make it harder to lose body fat and become leaner anyway. So if you can maintain more of a lean body mass on an off-season, it's going to be a lot easier for you to lose weight when you want to cut down and look shredded. But like I said, today I'm going to be recording a full day of eating showing you guys how I'm going to do my best to stay lean on this next off-season. And right now, we're starting with meal number one, which is breakfast. Right, so first off, we have oats. I'm gonna be having 80 grams of just regular oats mixed with Way HD by BPO Sports strawberry cake flavor, which is personally my favorite flavor to add to oats. Now to reduce the fat content with this meal, I don't add milk, I only add water, but because the protein is that good, it doesn't taste that bad with just water and oats and the protein. So to reduce the fat content, only use water. Right, so we have a bowl, 80 grams of oats, microwave for one minute, intervals and then when you got the consistency that you want usually I put it in the microwave for about three minutes add the protein stir and the meal number one is finished and the macros of this meal are 30 ball protein 52 carb and nine fats and I have a total calorie count of 434 so right now guys I'm gonna eat meal number one and then go shopping to Tesco to get meals for two days because I'm only prepping for two days because tomorrow kind of booked a flight to somewhere I've always wanted to go to and the flight is at six o'clock tomorrow so I need to go shopping do the full day of eating and then pretty much pack everything I'm a last minute sort of guy so I'm probably gonna end up leaving it until right before the flight is tomorrow I'll tell you more about that at the end of this video but right now we go shopping to get some food ignore the flip-flops because today is a flip-flop day Yo, where's the chicken? Yeah. right so first off we've got some less than five percent steak mince then we need a packet of basic chicken breast Pake mm. fillet down now we need the peanut butter it's done there no added sugar Crunchy, I'm more of a crunchy guy. Next, we got some yellow boomerangs. I oh, know it's such a crazy shape. Woo! Give me my potatoes, get off my potatoes. I do believe it's physically impossible to have a full day of eating without some burrito gains. So we're at KFC picking up two of those. Elliot, you need to you need to protect the goods. These are my gains. You don't need any gains. The bag's on fire, Dad. Wait. Missed you, <laughs> okay guys, so before I list the food that I just bought and why I brought it, I'm going to eat my burrito because burritos are the secret to gains and honestly I had breakfast like three hours ago now and I'm so hungry so I know they're not the best thing to like make lean gains on but they are the secret to gains. So if you want a burrito, have a burrito, make them gains and then make up for it like the rest of today. It's just like, I guess it's my guilty pleasure. I just like them so I'm going to eat it right now and now I'm getting to the food that I just bought. And the macros of the burrito are 33 protein, 76 carb and 28 fat with a total calorie count of 700. That was good. Okay guys, so this is all the food that I just got mixed with a few things that I already had, but this is basically everything all together. Okay, so we got bananas, less than 5% beef mint, sweet potato, we got some chicken breast, we got some peanut butter, no added sugar, we got some rice krispies, some hake, two packets of rice, some rice cakes, well, snack and jacks, frozen fruit, and some eggs. So right now guys, I'm gonna cook, Jesus screen. So right now guys, I'm gonna cook this food, put it into individual Tupperware containers for the next two days, because all this food right here should last two days, maybe three days, probably two days, but I'm gonna cook it right now and then I'll get back to you guys when it is done. Now to season the chicken, I'm gonna be using a Cajun and chicken and steak spice blend. Right, so the mince doesn't stick to the pan, we're gonna be using one calorie spray. Come on. Yeah. 
And I'm also seasoning the mince with the same stuff I did with the chicken, but instead we're using Jamaican jerk. Now while the mince is cooking, we're gonna put the hake in the microwave for about four minutes, considering how much there is. If there's less, it's three minutes. You just need to add a little bit more seasoning to the fish. You add just a little bit of water, and then put it in the microwave, but like I said, for minutes. Okay guys, so exactly half an hour later, all the food is done. We have two hake and sweet potato meals, 200 grams of hake and 200 grams of sweet potato. We have two chicken meals, 200 grams of chicken and 150 grams of long grain white rice and then two parts of less than five cent beef mince, 200 grams and 150 grams of again, long grain white rice. We have six meals here. We're going to have three each day. Right now, I'm going to put these in the fridge. Now, usually I don't like to keep my Tupperware containers in the fridge for long two to three days. They should last three to four days, but I wouldn't do it any longer than that purely for hygiene reasons but right now like I said I'm gonna put these in the fridge and then have meal number three. Meal number three is the sweet potato and hake meal. There is 34 grams of protein, 35 carb and only one fat with a total of 248 calories. So I'm gonna have this with some barbecue sauce because barbecue sauce makes everything good. Okay then guys, so I just did a few things around town. The time is currently 4.36 and I'm about to have meal number four, which is this. It's the chicken and rice meal. I'm gonna have this with some barbecue sauce. That chicken looks good. And the macros of this meal are 49 protein, 30 free carb and three fat with a total calorie count of 398 calories. Okay guys, so a few hours have passed now since my last meal. It's currently about six o'clock and I'm about to have my pre-workout snack. I wouldn't really call it meal number four because it is only a snack. This is what I'm going to be having. Three caramel snacker jacks with some peanut butter on top and usually I put the banana on top but I'm feeling lazy today so I'm just going to eat the banana by itself. I got my pre-workout drink and I'm going to have the Cutler pre-workout mix with it too. Wait about 20 minutes before I go work out so I'll watch some YouTube videos and then I'll kill a chest workout. I'm currently still on week one workout number four. First I did back, then I did arms. Yesterday I did legs, but today we're training chest and abs. And we're starting with bench press. But as of right now, we are currently 5% of the way through the plan. And if you want to, but haven't started yet, there is a link in the description for the 12 week plan and the link to the app that you'll have to download to get full access to the plan once you've bought it on the website, officialhardbuddy.com. But with that being said, I'm gonna eat this right now and then start the workouts. And yes, I know I'm using a fork to spread the peanut butter. Now the macros of this meal are seven protein, 59 carb, and nine fat with a total calorie count of 335. Okay guys, so the stringer is on for chest day. Now let's start the workout. <laughs> I'm literally halfway through drinking my protein shake. I'm about to have meal number four, which is gonna be the steak and fish meal. Now I've been told it's better to have red meat after the workout instead of white meat, like chicken breast. I don't really know why. I'm not gonna Google it and pretend that I do know why, because I don't. I've just heard that it's better to have red meat, so I'm gonna have the mint and rice meal right now for after the workout with the rest of my protein shake. And I cannot believe that I got three plates for like, I think it was three and a half reps. The last one, we got quite a lot of help, but considering I got that for one at the peak of my bulk about six months ago. Honestly, it blew my mind. I couldn't believe it. I was so happy about it. But right now, we're going to have meal number four. So now this is cooked, I'm gonna have this with some mint yogurt sauce, which is one of my favorite sauces. The macros of this meal are 36 protein, 42 carb, and only five fat. And then for calories, it's 352. Can I was Ayla, bro, and I'm dying. What's your deal, bro? Okay guys, so we are about to have the last meal of the day because the time is currently 12.52. I think it's time for my final meal because I still have a lot to do tonight. I need to edit this video and get my stuff packed for tomorrow because I've got a lot to do tomorrow. So realistically, I really need to get to bed, but the grind is real. Need to get that shit done. But we're about to have the final meal. Originally, I was gonna have eggs, but I feel like my protein has been pretty high today. So we're gonna have a bowl of Rice Krispies instead. To make this meal, you need a bowl. 
food. The Rice Krispies. And the milk. Yeah. And the macros of this delicious bowl of cereal are four protein, 52 carb, and one fat, which is 230 calories. So right now, guys, I'm gonna demolish this bowl of cereal, get this video edited, and get to sleep. Because, like I said earlier, I booked a flight to Venice, Italy. It's a place that I've always wanted to go to. So I kind of found a cheap flight on Skyscanner, which is this app that allows you to find the cheapest flights to like different parts of the world. And that's just what I wanna do. I wanna immerse myself. That's what it takes if you're part of the Don Squad. You need to immerse yourself into different situations in life that help you grow as a person. You collect pieces of yourself from different parts of the world to make yourself a more rounded person. So when you tackle a goal in life, you can destroy it and achieve whatever you want in this world. And that's what it takes. And that's what I'm trying to do with my life. I'm trying to immerse myself into as much of life as I possibly can do, which is how I want to live it. And I want to travel and I want to see the world. So I booked a ticket. I'm going tomorrow. Right now, I'm going to have a bowl of cereal, get to sleep. I think that's it for today's video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like. If you haven't already, join the Don Squad. Please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.